Hey guys, we're going to multiply and divide fractions. And if you're like, uh, I hear you, but also just know this is way better than adding and subtracting them. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do it. Also, I'm going to be pretty quick in this video. I'm assuming you, you have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Just need a refresher. If you need a more detailed video, I will link one. Okay. Where I do more examples and I'm, I'm, I talk more. So if you just like my voice, go watch that one. Okay. So when we multiply fractions, the denominators don't have to be the same. That's why it's so fantastic. Okay. We can just multiply this. Okay. We don't have to worry about the bottoms being the same. One thing you can do that makes it easier because basically what we do is you multiply straight across and then simplify. Okay. If you want to, before you multiply, you can see if anything, um, cancels, right? If anything simplifies before that. So as I look at this, I notice the 14 and the seven, right? So I know that seven goes into seven once, seven goes into 14 twice. Okay. I can do that beforehand. Okay. So now I multiply straight across. So it's going to be two times five gives me 10. 19 times one gives me 19. And um, double check, make sure it doesn't simplify further that like you maybe missed something. Um, but this one doesn't, so that's my answer. What? Way better than adding and subtracting, right? But you didn't hear me say that. I just love all fractions equally. Okay, now, um, next one. Okay, we're doing almost the exact same thing, okay? When we divide fractions, all we do is flip the second one, reciprocal, if you like that word, there you go. We flip this one and we multiply what i know you're welcome happy birthday okay so we take the 9 15 we flip our second fraction so it's 12 11 and we multiply what okay denominators do not have to be the same i'm gonna check and see if anything cancels just because that's easier in my opinion so um also you can't cancel yet here. It's when it's multiply. Okay. So you might've thought, oh, three goes into nine and 12. Not here. Look once you're multiplying. Okay. So I do notice three goes into both 12 and 15. Okay. So it goes into 12 four times and three goes into 15 five times. Okay. Nine times four. We're just multiplying straight across nine times four gives me 36. 5 times 11 gives me 55. Double check. Make sure it's simplified all the way. This is, and that's my answer. Oh my gosh. All right. If you need some more examples, go ahead and check out the other video. But hopefully that made sense and you can get your homework done. Bye.